Hi there, so this is the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, which I picked up a couple of weeks ago and uh, I've uh, just stuck it in this um, quick wooden case. Uh, I'm going to set this up uh, to be a media server and browser to use on a projector in the bedroom and uh, it cost about $35 or £25 uh, from a UK sent all the way to Japan. So let's hook it up and uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of uh, how you can set up the same kind of thing pretty simply. So apart from your Raspberry Pi and your HDMI cable and your power cable you're also going to need one of these micro SD cards that you can pick up for about what 10 or 15 dollars for a 16 gigabyte one you will need to make sure that it is a class 10 card because you need the, the higher quality high speed card um, to use for your hard drive and if you get a slower one it's just not going to perform as well so on the Raspberry Pi website we can go here to the downloads and they have the various operating systems that they offer and I've tried out the Raspbian OS and Ubuntu Mate and I tried OpenELEC there's a few other options here but I tried all those three out and I decided to go with the, my first choice anyway Raspbian here and they have a handy installation guide so you just need to follow the instructions for whether you're using Linux, Mac or Windows. And it's really simple to follow. They have a graphical method here for the Mac and they have a command line method. Uh, both of them take you 10 minutes to do, if that. So here is the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to connect it up to my projector with a HDMI cable coming from the projector. Let's stick that in there and then the power cable is a USB micro USB port that you use to charge like an Android phone or similar and that uh, just connects into like a, a USB power block uh, it needs to be a 5 volt 2.5 amp power supply let's get that connected Ooh. there we go it's a bit stiff right so it's up and running let's go and have a look what it looks like so there we go Raspberry Pi booting up doesn't take too long about 20 seconds or so and you're up and running there we go and there's the desktop so what I have done is I've got two options to control the Raspberry Pi first one is my PlayStation 3 controller which I've linked up uh, and I just need to press the PlayStation button turn the controller on you can see it flashing then in a moment later it should do the pairing process automatically there it goes left and right and now I've got control of the system and uh, you've got left click, right click you can browse various things on your computer so that's nice and simple uh, convenient the other method I have got onto my iPad and I have this application called Hippo Lite it's this one down here right so Hippo Lite, there's my Raspberry now this works off VNC and I'll show you how you can set up a VNC with some links in the video so Raspberry, there we go, now so I've got a trackpad here Turn it this way, so it's trackpad. Uh, and you see, 
the mouse is moving. And we're operating it here. Like this. Very good. Now, this is great, this application. It's free on your iPad and I'm pretty sure you can get something very similar for Android. Um, now if you shake it, you get your keyboard. Shake it again, you get your trackpad. Or you can turn it this way and you can have both at the same time. It's brilliant. Right, so let's take a quick look at the media uh, center. Now I've got Kodi installed on here. So there we go, now I'm going to use my PlayStation uh, controller. I can browse the menus. I won't show you how to set all this up, let's just have a quick look at it working now. Uh, and the triangle button is go back. So what should we have a look at? Crime? No. Oh, there's, there's a couple. Conan the Barbarian in HD. Brilliant. So I'll select that. Now it comes up with all these artwork and stuff, it automatically downloads that for any movies that you've got. So there we go. Working, so you've got subtitles, you've got a little control thing that you can use down here at the bottom. And that's that. Let's spin it on a little bit. Let's put this over here. And just fast forward through it. All right, so the next thing we'll have a look at is I've installed Chromium web browser here. Now, Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspbian, comes with a great little browser, Epiphany, uh, like a lightweight browser. Uh, it's really nice. I would have kept that on and used that. Um, but it doesn't do so good with watching video. And so uh, because I want to watch video on this system and uh, have access to some sites like this that might allow you to watch videos online uh, and that's so I'm using Chromium because this works great so let's have a look at something here now these sites are a bit of a gamble on how things work but once you get to know how to use them Um, the ins and outs of doing it, it will actually work. Let's get this going. Now this won't work perfectly, these things never do. Uh, using some uh, dodgy websites, but it will work well enough. Right, we've got it in full screen. Now, I think the sound is a bit low, so you'll have to put your sound up. There you go. And that's working well enough as well. It's not stuttering at all. It doesn't seem to be any f frame dropping at all. Works fine. This is a $35 computer. Okay, back on the laptop here for a minute. Uh, one more thing to have a look at quickly is uh, because we installed uh, VNC uh, for using the iPad to control the Raspberry Pi, uh, we can also use VNC to connect to and remotely control the Raspberry Pi. So if I come in here, connect to server, and I use VNC, and 
I put in the local address of the Raspberry Pi. Now I can gamble here and see if this is the correct address because I'm using it in a different room. It might not be. And it works, there you go, brilliant. So that's the Raspberry Pi desktop and I've got control here so I can do anything I want. That means that I don't actually need to have a keyboard or mouse connected to the Raspberry Pi uh, at any time. I can tuck it away somewhere and I can just use my laptop or my computer or my iPad or whatever to administer it. And you can really do anything like that. There we are, shut down.